Good morning from Monte Alban. This is in the very important archaeological ruins that uh, is just on the outside of uh, Oaxaca City, and we came up here. We actually stayed an extra couple of days in Oaxaca just to come here because it, this is the first day it's reopened since C-19, and so we're pretty excited, and we, they're only allowing 400 people in here today, so that's it. So, as always, we are inviting you to come along. These are our friends from Milana, Josh, Annie, D'Agostino, and their lovely family who we met here on the way to Monte, Monte Albano. We're going to get our tickets right now. See you inside. And off we go. Buenos dias, mi amigos. And we're off. What is this thing? Look. They got a QR code on this thing. I'm expecting a lot of uh, steep steps and what have you. What not? What not? So, this is very typical. We'll do Jeannie, we'll do Jeannie a favor and take these ones. They seem to be rebuilt a little bit better. At least they're wide. One of the things you want to know about this place is it was built way up high as a fortification against warring tribes and stuff. And so uh, they put it up there on top of this mountain to have a vantage point to anyone coming up to challenge them, I guess. Edificio number 10. I'm going to let Jeannie do all the uh, still shots today. I'm going to trust her with that job. That is really good looking. We'll take you over there a little later. Pretty spectacular view. As a matter of fact, we're gonna go up there and see if we get a better viewpoint. Okay, we're up here. Let's see what we have. Extend this a little. There's your city of Oaxaca.
Here's a nice long shot of the ruins, which we'll be investigating shortly. Just for your information, they got guards everywhere. We're not launching any drones from here, that's for sure. Okay, let's go check out the main ruins. This video is going to run a little longer since I'm going to bring you through this in depth. Very steep, very steep. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> this is quite beautiful, this little sunken in area. I'm almost positive this is where they have played a special game, a ball game of some sort that I read about, which we'll get into a little bit later. Here's a temple being renovated, as you can see. Truth be told, this is a lot more impressive than I thought it was going to be. What a beautiful vista point this is to capture this. I hope the depth of this 4K video can catch the mountain range that I'm, my eyes are seeing. It's just extraordinary for a backdrop. <laughs> I was just discussing with Jeannie that this place is way more impressive than the pyramids outside of Mexico City that we that we brought you to. Um, maybe it's not a fair comparison, but let me tell you something. I'm pretty amazed at what I'm seeing, and I hope you are too.
Maybe that's the stadium seating for Sunday football. Not quite sure, but it's on both sides. Maybe some croquet in the middle. Bocce ball. Sorry, I couldn't get, I couldn't resist. All right, let's find our way down and check out if we can climb up there or not. Okay, so we got some information. There's some steps right here that we can take down to go across. And he said that if we go across and all the way over, that we can climb up to the top and get a great view back. And that's what we're gonna do. So check out these steps. They're not bad. They're steep, but again, nothing like Anchor Wat. Gonna hold on to you. What? That's <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> I guess she's taking a rest, which is, there's no problem with that. Let's see what's going on with this. There's information here that we need to investigate. Okay, let's take a quick look at this. Can I play through? of carved stone that we're going to go investigate. We're big investigators as you might be well aware of at this point. Supposedly there's some underground tombs and stuff and passageways but it looks like it's blocked off. I don't think we can go into the places like that. That's unfortunate. That would have been very cool. There's another entry way with carvings inside. Again, unfortunately, we're not going in there. Quick look at the sign. Here's some older ones that look like they've been worn off.
we're going to challenge ourselves and climb these steps right here. I'm around. There is a railing. Can can you go around and up? I'm not sure. oh, okay. Thank you. I don't know about Jeannie, but I am challenging myself and going up these stairs. I did it at Anchor Wat, I can do it here. Again, this is really steep, but it's pale compared to the steepness and the size of the steps at Anchor Wat. All right, let me shut this down real quick and then I'll start it up again. It figures. There's someone else flying a uh, Mavic Air Pro right there. And I didn't bring my drone because I thought there'd be way too many guards and that they would definitely pull it down. But apparently it's fine. And I told Gene, I said, since I didn't bring the, um, the drone, you definitely could have flown it. And I could have gotten some incredible footage here, but alas, it is what it is. All right. Jeannie already made it up, now I'm on my way. Oh man, oh yeah. These steps are easily a foot and a half each. And I'm taking them. Oh, calf burner. Huh. Especially with a 40 pound knapsack on your back. Ah. Ooh, two more. Oh boy. Oh man. Woo. You have my mask? I do. Thank you. Yeah. We ran across the D'Agostinos once more at the top here. And some new friends that live actually coincidentally about two or three miles away from them. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your name? Maggie. Maggie Sean. and Sean. Your last name? Uh, White Schwab. White, White and Schwab. Schwitz. Okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Again, of course I didn't bring the drone and there's a guy flying it. Man, I would have loved to have gotten some uh, aerial footage, but this is pretty nice too up here. I'm not surprised. I don't know how you guys can stand on the edge like that. I'm going down on my butt. <laughs> Let's see if we can get any justice to the steepness of these stairs. Here comes some new people trying to conquer it. And that's the plateau that we started it at and gave you the shot coming this way. Come on, let's go! There you go! The sound of this drone behind me is killing me. It's killing me that I didn't bring mine. That this guy can fly a drone and I can't because I didn't bring it. And it was ready to go, fully charged, everything. About one and a half foot high each, but, not standard but it's not like Anchor Watt, which were over two feet high each. Lots of fun. 
All right, good job, good job. What do you think? I do it again. Now we'll start heading back. Pay no attention to that drone noise you hear. It's not me, unfortunately. All right, we found a little side walkway that leads down to the other side of what I showed you before. And again, to me it looks like some type of stadium. This looks like seating. So we'll take a quick pan on this. That could be where the gladiators came out on each side. Maybe they did fight in here. Who knows? Somebody has to know. Look at the cotton on the trees. Yes, that is cotton of some sort. Very peculiar. Look at all the bumps on the bark uh, on the on the trunk. There is a lot of bumps. Here's another one right here. Check out this. It almost looks like a huge succulent. Yes. And another one right behind it. Okay, so that was awesome. And I hope that you enjoyed this as much as Jeannie and I did because we really are so happy that we extended our stay in Oaxaca till this opened back up so that we could come and see this. It's definitely worthwhile. It's definitely not a tourist trap. This is an important piece of history um, that needs to be seen if you're ever in this area. See you on the next one. Bye.